Hello everyone. Today I will be sharing my experience to a cafe called Moyo. It was a Saturday morning. I got up really early. I got up like at six and I changed my clothes, I dressed up, and I think I changed my clothes like five times because I didn't know what to wear and I didn't I didn't want to be uh, outstanding either. I at first I wanted to wear a skirt, but somehow I changed my mind and wear a casual clothes with my jeans and my t-shirt. And I then I went to school and grabbed a taxi with my friends and one of my teacher. And it takes about it took about um, five minutes to get there and when while we were on the taxi my friend Ryan called me asking where we were and I said we would Oh, we were uh, we were still on taxi, and so we would be there in a few minutes. So wait for us. And when we got there, uh, they were st they were they were standing in front of an old building. I don't know why. I didn't know why. I thought it was just they didn't know where to wait for us. It's the thought I had, and. We waited for some of our friends, and uh, and when they arrived, we took a we took a few photos of the group in front of the building, and and yeah, my teacher went to the door. It was kind of a metal door, which was, from my point of view, I think it was like really heavy, and he pushed it real hard, and we went there. And the first thing I saw was dark the darkness it was really dark and there were no air conditioning and there were just you know all traditional fans on the ceiling and yeah we saw a table with a plate with heart-shaped heart-shaped newspaper uh, we took each and i put it in my phone case and in case i found someone to give it to and we got to a table. It was it was like a wooden table, a wooden couch, and we sat down and ordered some food drinks. Uh, for me, the price were a little um, pricey, but I just wanted the experience. My teacher wanted us to wanted wanted us to buy the experience, so I just ordered it. And while we were waiting for the food, I went. I went to a corner to read books, but the books were like some kind of old magazines about women and their fashion. So I'm not interested in that kind of thing. So yeah, I just look around and took some photos of the things. It was kind of aesthetic, so I just wanted to post it on my Instagram. And yeah, and we found a secret room. It said, a secret room for everyone. I thought it was actually like a public bathroom, but we were wrong. When we opened the door, there were like uh, writing on the walls with some crayons, permanent marker, and yeah, my my other friends were you know really excited and they wanted to write it down on the wall, and so yeah, they got in and I I wanted to write too, but I just don't want to see what i wrote so yeah after they wrote on the wall i went there and locked the door and i think i spent like 15 minutes writing and just chilling uh, i i wrote some kind of you know uh quotes about my family and yeah and after then we played a sh I googled it on the internet and it said it's it is similar to the shuffleboard game but it it's not really uh, yeah we played I played it with my friends and I lost uh, I used to play it a lot back in my hometown and when I lost to my friend I was kind of a bit sad because I have more experience and I have my ego and yeah and 
we gather around the board game or whatever and we took pictures we had fun and they gave us some tips to how to win the game but i still lose anyway <laughs> yeah and then i went to a corner with a couch like they have this maybe like a notebook on the wall hanging and i wrote it down i wrote something down uh, which is a secret i can tell you guys uh and yeah and after that i went back to our t table and drink the drinks i ordered i i think i order honey dew juice but they give me some kind of lemon and i don't know i was a bit disappointed and one of my friends got the wrong order and he was a bit shy and he didn't want to tell the waitress and, oh talking about the waitress uh the waitress and the waiter wore traditional burmese dress uh burmese traditional burmese dresses i guess uh it was really kind of cool because it was i feel like i was back in the uh, 19th century before 19th century in this era area of time where technology is advancing and yeah it was a bit uncomfortable for me to order uh, so i just asked my friend to do it instead uh, and we kind of think to order the chips but it was yeah we looked at the price and it was a bit pricey so we just let it go and about the interior design it was there were fans everywhere there were lamps and they use mostly woods and newspapers for me i think it's really cool because i think there are many other cafe that use like really bad lightning and the place is so noisy so you can concentrate but that place was different we sat down under a yellow light and they gave us the free guitar which my friend one of my friend played and we sang along which was really cool and there was like cello i have never seen a cello in my life before it was really a great experience for me uh yeah and it was rom romanticizing yeah i took pictures and I sat down reflecting my thoughts and uh, wondering what I should be doing right now but I just let it go and just chill because I've been really s stressful because of the schoolwork and some of the problems I've had, I've had recently and uh, I was I am really thankful to my teachers who gave us a chance to go there and uh, practice our English but yeah it we didn't practice any English there uh, I was really happy um, yeah so talking about the back to the topic uh, the interior design uh, they use a lot of um, antiquated coffee mugs I guess the coffee mugs were really pretty I really want to have them I always search it I will always search for them in the mall, but I didn't see any, so yeah. I thought of stealing one, but no, it's a sin, so yeah. Uh, and what is my takeaway from going to that restaurant? Uh, I've always, uh, since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be a successful businesswoman. Um, but I realized that I didn't have to... Be, I didn't have to be I didn't have to be the same with every other any other cafe like if I wanted to have uh, if I wanted to open a cafe I just need to be innovative and create something that people did some people like and I don't I don't like too much attention so I, I won't post any uh, like advertisement and yeah and another takeaway is that I think I have, I need to have a chill time like this, maybe like once in a month. And yeah, I think this was the big, the biggest takeaway. And 
my teacher, uh, my English teacher made us uh, uh, a homework based on this, uh, like a reflective video, which is really hard for me, uh, which is this video. And yeah, I'm really proud of myself for doing this. And yeah, I think I've found the courage to be the one I've been looking forward to be. And yes, thank you.